He's been in double digits each of the last two games. Noah Waterman launching from the corner. Because Stewart was playing so well, and then they, they went to Stewart and said, hey, I think, I think we're going back to, to Hall, which was our original plan. Noah Waterman up the feed from Fusini Traore. About their offense, how does it work? Why does it work? Well, it's movement without the ball. It's floor spacing. It's unselfishness. Spencer Johnson a three. That was just good awareness by Fusco Traore. And at the end of the day, it comes down to having shot makers. And they've got plenty of them on the outside for the Cougars. Zach Eady and his performance over at the Maui Invitational. High level. Jose Perez, the drop off, and it's stripped from Brian Celebunge. And the offensive numbers just off the charts for BYU. Tough step back for Jackson Robinson. The offensive rebound, the putback. Noah Waterman already was seven, nine straight for BYU. His confidence, his understanding of the system and what they want to do has been sensational. Running the floor, Waterman off balance, missed, and Jose Perez clears. Spencer Johnson hits a three, the second three for Spencer Johnson. BYU, one of the best three-point shooting teams in all of college basketball. A little drag dribble to the right. Waterman on a three as he gets knocked down, he still hit it. Roll back counter move, and then again, you go under the screen on a player like Noah Waterman, he's going to be able to dial that in, and that's too free of a look. Hall, the drop-off, the lay-in for Traore. What a beautiful pass. I thought Hall was going to go up and shoot that. Are you hoping to level, level me off a little bit? I usually ask Walton to have four helpings of it. Nice scoop reverse by Dallin Hall. Carrots would rank somewhere around 85, 85th on my list of side dishes you can have. And one for Richie Saunders for BYU. I'll take some more that and how he plays. He is tough. He is physical. He plays with a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. A little. He'd made 18 consecutive free throws going back to last season. And missed, but then Trey Stewart nails a three. He missed, but he got the rebound and the kick. The game talking about 12 and a half made three pointers per contest. We got to attack every single shot. We do not want to give up any offensive rebounds. Jose Perez is down off the ball as Noah Waterman hits a three. You can only get it, by the way, at sporting events at BYU. At least that's what I, that's the only time I've ever had it. Another three for Noah Waterman. He's got 16. BYU, they come out of the break. Foose surveys, takes a power dribble, finds the hottest shooter. Frankie Collins left it short in the key. And pulled down by Spencer Johnson. BYU pushes. Trevin Nell, transition three. And then in transition. Get your feet set. Get to your spot. They trailed for a majority of that game. And their turnovers in the second half and the ability to run off those turnovers were key. You cannot let, let that happen, though. The, the ball switched sides multiple times. They got the ball inside out. Can't do that. Sam Noah Waterman. BYU has multiple shooters on the floor, and I promise you they will continue to have multiple shooters on the floor. Career high tying 22. They've been trading baskets and actually coming up on the, the wrong end of it based on the three point shot. The lay in Fusini Traore for BYU. So Waterman's hit threes, Nell's hit three. Now, see, now you're hugging the outside, and Frankie Collins really, that, you could probably pinch in there. Dallin Hall, the miss and the cleanup. Atiki Ali Atiki for BYU. BYU dropping back into the zone. Why not? Lava with a top for Jemiah Neal, broken up by Atiki Ali Atiki. Jackson Robinson, his first points of the night. 12 threes for the Cougars. All the teams in the Big 12 are going to have to go play at BYU, right? Like, they get home games. Deal with they, the altitude. They don't have to play them all on the road, right? Like, and I've been there enough in that building with that student section. 
Frankie Collins trying to drop off and turns it over. Allen Hall fouled by Jose Perez. Going to town. Getting the sugar the buzz. Yes, on the maple bar. Lob over the top. And the lay in a new career high. Noah Waterman with 24 points. As Jemiah Neal splits a double team attack in the basket. Got it. And you're talking about, all right, how long Spencer Johnson's been around. Trevin Nell was a one time Conzo Martin commit. NC State's better offensively right now than where Arizona State is at. And their guards and the, the depth that they have on their roster, too, I, I think that's going to be a really fun matchup. Five minutes, and it'll start to add up over the course of the game. It sure puts a lot of pressure on your defense. From way out there, Jackson Robinson, 14 BYU threes tonight. Everybody's talking at halftime. Man, nobody's making shots, nobody's making shots. And they've just continued to make three-point shot after three-point shot. The facility's a little bit outdated. But the way he coaches and the way he plays, they've sustained success and they've given themselves an opportunity to be competitive year in and year out as Saunders scores a bucket for BYU. The offensive glass and a put back for Townsend Triple. That's it. Final score, BYU 77, Arizona State 49.